If you need to monitor and control the real world from your PC, there's no better way to do it than a GP3 from AWC. However, in the past, if you wanted to use this powerful board, you needed to know some sort of programming language, whether it was Visual Basic or Java, C++, C Sharp, even some scripting languages, but you still had to write a program. In this video, I'll introduce you to a new program from AWC that comes free of charge with the GP3 called GP3 Easy that, as the name implies, makes it easy to use the GP3 with no programming. When you start GP3 Easy, you'll find the main screen. It has a menu, several buttons and controls for opening files, and a drop-down box to set the COM port that the GP3 is connected to. You'll also see a notes field where you can put simple comments that document this particular script. Each script contains one or more steps. We open the step up to see the step editor. This step is enabled, it has a name called start, and it's got a comment. But the big thing is, is the steps have three parts. A condition, which is when the step's going to execute, is the first part. In this case, it's going to execute after 250 milliseconds. There's also an action section, which in this case is going to say the action for this step is to turn on the LED. And there's a next step that tells us where to execute next. When we try to go to the next step, a new step is automatically created. It's not enabled, so we'll check the enable, add a note, in this case, the condition is once again going to be 250 milliseconds, or a quarter of a second. The action in this case will be to turn off the LED. And then the key is the next step. After we've done this, to blink the LED, we need to go back to the start. So we pick start. Now we're ready to run our script. When we click the run button, we'll see an animated execution trace of each step. Sometimes when you're debugging, that's not enough. You actually want to use the debug button, which will allow you to step under a control, set a breakpoint, see what the next step's going to be. You can also make it run in an animated mode under debugging, and then stop it again. And there's your LED blinker. This video has just scratched the surface of the capabilities of the GP3 and the GP3EZ. On the conditions, there's analog inputs, digital inputs. The actions can include pulse width modulation, for example, digital outputs. And there's subroutines, looping, and lots more, all with the simple GP3EZ interface. So check it out, www.awce.com.